dear students in online class 6 standard geography lesson 10th human occupation so in this video we are going to continue our lesson page number 61 so here we are going to study use your brain power milk is available at rupees 40 per liter while dahi is rupees 60 per kg and paneer is rupees 200 per kg if both are obtained from milk why is there so much difference in their prices so here you can see that milk's milk's price is just 40 rupees that is 60 rupees kg and pun is 200 per kg because milk is perishable okay it cannot remain for good condition uh, in good condition for long period but the he can remain at least two days okay and uh, paneer can remain three four days okay so processing here milk is processed hence uh, price of the heap paneer is is little bit high and milk's price is little bit low okay so you can see page number 61 here we uh, we carry out many activities to fulfill our needs we have many occupations industries trader uh, trades etc some of these activities are directly depend on nature it means that the products obtained in these activities are obtained directly from nature cows buffaloes are animals we domesticate them see picture a we get milk from them therefore this occupation is directly depend on nature such occupation which are directly depend on nature are called primary occupation examples animal husbandry and fishing so what do you understand by this paragraph the product which is obtained directly from the nature such occupations are called primary occupations occupations which are directly depend on nature such occupations are ca called primary occupations animal husbandry is a primary occupation fishing is a primary occupation mining is a primary occupation gathering products from forest is also a primary occupation so let's see the next paragraph some products obtained in primary occupation are used directly while others are used after making some changes in them now see picture e in this picture the milk is being processed after bringing it to the dairy that is the product obtained from nature is processed and made into different products these products are more durable their quality has enhanced means uh, it quality becomes excellent and therefore their price is also higher for example shrikhand butter cheese and milk powder are processed from milk this processing is an industrial activity industries are based on raw material more durable goods are produced in an industry the raw material supplied to the industry is often obtained from nature from primary occupations means uh, means uh, the processing is a secondary occupation in industry processing goes on like milk is obtained from nature and milk is processed into shrikhand butter cheese in the industry or a factory so industry is factory it is a secondary occupation this secondary occupation needs a raw material which is obtained from nature so this is uh, the occupation which is depend on primary occupation is called secondary occupation okay now look picture c d f you will see milk collection and sale of milk transport of milk and sale of milk products respectively or respectively all these activities are related to the products of primary and secondary occupation so transporting milk selling milk okay this is called these are these occupations are related to primary and secondary occupation transporting is a tertiary occupation okay selling milk is a tertiary occupation many times these occupation provide a complementary services to other two occupations means these occupations are depend on each other such occupations are called tertiary occupation a tertiary occupation is depend upon primary and secondary occupation means occupation which is depend on primary and secondary occupation is called tertiary op occupation uh, these occupations are complementary to all other occupations means tertiary occupations are helpful to all the other action all the other occupations these occupations are also called service occupations tertiary, tertiary occupations are complementary helpful to other occupations and these occupations are also called service occupation this is includes transport of goods loading and unloading of goods and sale of goods it is called tertiary occupation now look at picture e here you can see a person testing the prepared milk products this person is testing the quality of the products to do this work the person must have some special skills this is also a type of service but this service is not an ordinary one it requires special expertise and therefore such services are called quaternary occupation matlab kuch service ki service ke liye special skills chahiye to aise iske occupations ko quaternary occupation bolte hai quaternary occupation okay not all the services are directly related to the primary and secondary occupation for example 
दोज ऑफ ड्राइवर नाइफ ग्राइंडर नाइफ ग्राइंडर मतलब चाकू को चाकू और छुरियों को तेज करने वाला तो ड्राइवर नाइफ ग्राइंडर पुलिस मैन पोस्टल सर्विसेज दीज सर्विसेज आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी ऑक्यूपेशन बिकॉज दीज सर्विसेज आर नॉट डिपेंड ऑन नेचर ओके थिंक अ लिटिल हु एग्जामिन्स अस वेन वी फॉल इल डॉक्टर एग्जामिन्स अस वेन वी फॉल इल हु चेक्स आवर एग्जामिनेशन पेपर मॉडरेटर एग्जामिनर टीचर चेक्स आवर पेपर्स हु प्रिपेयर द डिजाइन्स ऑफ अ बिल्डिंग्स आर्किटेक्चर्स इंजीनियर्स दे प्रिपेयर अ डिजाइन्स हु प्रोड्यूसेस मशीन्स एंड लुक्स आफ्टर देयर मेंटेनेंस एंड रिपेयर्स इंजीनियर्स ओके लुक एट द पिक्चर इन फिगर टेन पॉइंट टू केयरफुली वी आर लर्निंग द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑक्यूपेशन ओके सी इफ यू कैन आंसर द फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू शुगर प्रोडक्शन सो क्लासीफाई द ऑक्यूपेशन फ्रॉम प्राइमरी टू क्वार्टनरी विच रॉक मटेरियल इज यूज इन द सेकेंडरी ऑक्यूपेशन सो वेर इट इज विच आर द सर्विसेस इन टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन विच पिक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू क्वार्टनरी ऑक्यूपेशन कैन यू नेम दैट ऑक्यूपेशन सो वी आर वी आर हियर वी हैव टू सी द पिक्चर्स यू कैन सी हियर शुगर केन फील्ड्स आर देयर हियर हार्वेस्टिंग ऑफ शुगर केन इज देयर हियर ट्रांसपोर्टिंग ऑफ शुगर केन इज देयर हियर शुगर इज कलेक्टेड एट द फैक्ट्री एंड इन दिस फिगर यू कैन सी सेल ऑफ अ शुगर हियर सैक्स ऑफ शुगर शुगर बींग कैरीड हियर शुगर प्रोडक्शन एंड क्वालिटी चेकिंग इज गोइंग ऑन हियर प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ शुगर केन जूस इज गोइंग ऑन हियर इंस्पेक्शन एंड मेंटेनेंस ऑफ मशीनरी इन द फैक्ट्री सो यू हैव टू क्लासीफाई दीज ऑक्यूपेशन सो दिस इज अ प्राइमरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज अ दिस इज अ प्राइमरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज अ टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन ट्रांसपोर्टिंग इज अ टर्स टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज अ सेकेंडरी ऑक्यूपेशन ओके एंड दिस वन इज अ टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज ऑल्सो ए टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज सेकेंडरी ऑक्यूपेशन दिस इज ऑल्सो ए सेकेंडरी ऑक्यूपेशन हियर इंस्पेक्शन इज गोइंग ऑन हेन्स दिस इज अ क्वार्टनरी ऑक्यूपेशन डू इट ओके try this activity think of more such chains of occupation draw their picture and classify them from primary to quaternary okay think and discuss what does what effect does nature have on our occupation think a little give a thought to the following issues discuss them in the class write two paragraphs about it there have been no rains at all so primary occupations like agriculture it will face drought okay a storm strike there was an earthquake untimely rains good rains good rains means it is good for agriculture excessive rain and flood ओके ऑल ऑफ सडन ऑफ हल्के नो इरेप्ट सुनामी हिट्स सो यू हैव टू डिस्कस इन द क्लास ओके सो विच ऑक्यूपेशन विल अफेक्ट माइनिंग कैन बी इफेक्ट ड्यू टू फ्लड्स एंड रेंज ड्यू टू अर्थक्वेक्स ओके सो हाउ स्ट्रॉम स्ट्राइक्स मीन्स फिशिंग ऑक्यूपेशन कैन कैन फेस प्रॉब्लम्स ड्यू टू स्ट्रॉम स्ट्राइक्स ओके माइनिंग फिशिंग दिज ऑक्यूपेशन विल गेट प्रॉब्लम ड्यू टू ऑल दिस ऑल दिस थिंग्स ओके डू इट यूर सेल्फ विच ऑक्यूपेशन आर फाउंड इन योर एरिया यू हैव टू सर्च विच ऑक्यूपेशन इज प्रैक्टिस ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल फाइंड द रीजन बिहाइंड इट डिस्कस फाइंड द रीजन बिहाइंड अ पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री बींग लोकेटेड इन योर एरिया इन अवर एरिया शुगर फैक्ट्रीज आर देयर सो इन अवर एरिया टर्सरी ऑक्यूपेशन आर मोर बोथ ह्यूमन एंड नेचुरल फैक्टर्स अफेक्ट ऑक्यूपेशन कैन यू फाइंड दोज फैक्टर्स मीन्स ह्यूमन ऑल्सो अफेक्ट ऑक्यूपेशन एंड नेचुरल फैक्टर्स ऑल्सो अफेक्ट ऑक्यूपेशन यू कैन सी नाउ डेज ड्यू टू दिस लॉकडाउन हाउ ऑक्यूपेशन आर अफेक्टिंग ओके ऑप्टेन इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डैमेज कॉज डू टू द एनवायरमेंट थ्रू डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशन ओके एनवायरमेंट गेट डैमेज ड्यू टू माइनिंग एक्टिविटीज ड्यू टू फॉरेस्ट गैदरिंग प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम फॉरेस्ट सो एनवायरमेंट ऑल्सो हैव टू फेस प्रॉब्लम्स here we can see this is how we classify the human occupation different occupations are practiced in different countries of the world though through these occupations economic transactions our occur within a country and between various countries means economic transaction means foreign currency uh, our country get foreign currency due to these occupations okay so economic benefits gets money transaction goes on due to occupation these transactions decide the country's production of various goods and their annual income so these transactions will decide how much uh, how much product we have produced in our country so what is the income of our country this in turn is used to decide the extent of the country's development okay the country which is having excellent economy that country is a developed country okay so the pie chart show the percentage of manpower engaged in various occupation in the countries of bangladesh united arab emirates and turkey each pie chart shows the percentage of primary to tertiary occupation answer the following question on the basis of pie chart so we will uh, we will study this pie chart percentage of manpower engaged in various occupation you can see bangladesh 
in bangladesh primary occupation is in large scale secondary occupation a red color okay uh, secondary occupation is less than primary occupation and tertiary occupation is very less okay means in bangladesh primary occupation is more and uh, tertiary occupation is less so the country which is having primary occupation more it is a developing country okay so united arab emirates you should say em emirates you should say see primary occupation is in very small quantity secondary occupation is little big and tertiary occupation is very in very large quantity so this united arab emirates is a developed country because tertiary occupations are more we, we, we will see turkey's condition turkey's primary occupation secondary occupation and tertiary occupation both are balanced okay so here we can see we can understand the that the united arab emirates is a developed country and bangladesh is a developing country okay Mm, I can do this. Name different occupation. Tell the difference between various occupation. So students, we have studied primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary occupation. Quaternary occupation needs expertise, skills. Okay. Classify the occupation from primary to quaternary. Mm, here, what is there? Mm. Now exercise is there. So students, here we will complete our. We have we have completed our lesson. Human occupation. Read this lesson, students, and try to uh, try to solve the exercise. Okay. Till that. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.